Hi, this is Andrea. So I'm going to share with you a something about a client that you know that she has shared with me. I was very happy to be receiving her call actually yesterday. She called to you know uh, give me an update about how she is doing and yeah. She, so this client of mine, let's call her Stephanie. Okay, let's call her Stephanie and yeah. So what happened to? Stephanie back then when I first met her in you know five months ago is that I noticed that she is having a lot of reservations when I am speaking uh, to her and you know at a point in time she wasn't at that moment you know in that day when we met at that event she actually wasn't in her uh, happy self but and I can sense that even though she's trying to be nice and I, I just pick it up and I say like, you know, if there's anything that you want to be talking about, then we can talk about it. Right? Because I can see that she is almost going to be, uh, yeah, she's not in a very stable state and she doesn't look very happy. And of course she is emotionally wise, she looks like she's going to cry. And I, I just happened to be there at that point in time. And this, that's what, that's how we got, uh, we met in the first place. So, you know, at that point in time, she told me what happened to her. So apparently, she actually just um, called off her engagement with her fiancé back then because her relationship didn't work out. It was a three-year relationship and back then, she is working in a sales role and the thing is, she couldn't focus at work, right? She's always constantly thinking about something else and the thing is she wants to be earning more money and it's because they will be uh, planning, they are planning to get engaged and settle down and get married, right? Uh, in the coming year. So apparently that didn't happen. She actually had an engagement call off and she didn't move on her plans to comp uh, to settle down, move into a, a nice apartment and start a family together with the guy, right? So she didn't manage to do that. Well, the thing is, at a point in time when we met, she said that she actually opened up to me. L luckily, she did because I realized that she was suffering emotionally and she couldn't concentrate at work. And the thing is, she told me she couldn't find any motivation for her to be continuing what she's doing every day, right? She lost her motivation at work and she don't know where to go from here because after working so hard for one year just to save up to set to settle down and start a life with this man is in the end they didn't have enough time to connect emotionally, they didn't have time to spend together. She was constantly always stressed. I, I guess that's the same for the guy as well and probably that's why it, it's caused a a distance throughout this one whole year where they are focused on earning the money in for that that's enough for them to settle down and get married. So this apparently caused a relationship and the thing is we didn't really know what happened and I like me looking at her feeling so lost and devastated and so hopeless at a point in time I told her that you know maybe there's something that I can help you with so I asked her not to give up and the thing is eventually we worked out something for her so Sean and I actually coached her throughout this period of time and with our two other coaches we met together and we have coaching sessions with her and calls every week for over a period of four months, right? So, yeah, and from then on, she actually overcome a lot in terms of her emotional traumas and baggage, which she didn't even know that was there in the first place, okay? Something that was there in in, in place where she is not able to connect with people, right? She's always feeling the drain in energy and she's always having to uh, keep consciously keep her energy up and 
Yeah, but because it was because she couldn't be fulfilled emotionally and she didn't know why, right? So there was something that is going on is that she was keeping people at a distance without consciously knowing it, right? So this is something that affected her and also a lot of things that reminded and triggered her uh, of her past since young that even in the relationship back then when she was with her fiancé she actually got uh, very emotional at a lot of times and the thing is when one person is emotional is you're not able to to really get to the root cause and have a calm conversation about how to move forward and get connected right so that is why you know she told me that the same problem actually happened throughout over and over again uh, in the three years of their relationship so fast forward to today she actually is a, is a changed person when i see her she is um, talking about uh, being happy and just being happy being present and living in the now and i can see that she is having a much more positive outlook in life and she definitely is a lot more confident in terms of the the way she carry herself the way she sees herself she actually has a lot more self-love and a very healthy relationship with herself so yeah i'm happy when i'm i talk to stephanie and the thing is she just uh, she reason she told me yesterday that she's actually seeing this uh, a guy again and she knows that like this guy will be the one because I, yeah because she she just know it right so after working on, on herself she started to heal from within and because of that she is glowing she is much more confident right and I when I see her she actually is much clearer on who she want to be spending her the rest of her life with Right. Previously, she knows that um, this guy is good in a way and is bad in a way and she, she took in all the good and the bad. But at this point in time, she actually, I would say she manifested or attracted this ideal guy of hers and she's totally uh, living a very happy and fulfilled life right now. Okay, so I'm very happy for her. Oh, Stephanie, you know who you are if you are watching this video. So the main thing I want to be, uh, the mes main message I want to be sharing with you guys is that if there is anything in, in life or if there's any emotional baggage that you are holding on or even, you know, if you, are, if you don't know about it, there is something that is making you feel conflicted within or there is a certain kind of incident where you are always... Uh, feeling threatened or a certain kind of people that always appear in your life either they react to you emotionally or uh, in a way that you you are affected emotionally okay it can be from if you are working in sales this is going to be very obvious because you are meeting people every day and all the yeah <laughs> i mean yeah this is this is what i i notice actually so the people who are coming on your calls or the people who meet who you meet as a prospect or as a client right they will actually mirror you in terms of your energy in terms of your certainty your uncertainty your your yeah it can even go up to uh, mirroring you in terms of putting back the attitude that you are giving out so there's a lot of ways how in sales you can actually see uh, your reflection very clearly okay so especially in sales yes so if you are having any emotional um, blockages you feel that is going on inside you you actually wouldn't be able to connect to your prospects easily you will be having a hard time getting a close and even if, if so it may be you know if you get a close you may be have having some high rejection rates and you don't know why you may be thinking that it is because you haven't been studying or uh, digesting a certain kind of sales skills or techniques you know that you haven't been uh, mastering mastering your sales skills or techniques but sometimes that may not be the case okay so yes so if you are you think that that may be the case you can actually uh, 
check out the link below there is a training going on on mind advancement right this is where when you advance your mind you actually we actually work with you on your on on you mentally not only that emotionally as well spiritually as well and this is where emotionally spiritually and mentally when you're aligned that is where you start to flow okay if not you'll be always be facing some obstacles in life or having some yeah the, the some obstacles or things that are getting in your way whenever you are stepping up whenever you want to be uh, progressing in life because there may be something that is not being brought to your conscious and you wouldn't know how to be solving it if it's, you're not conscious of this problem so yes so I'll I'll be posting a link on the my advancement training and yeah you check it out go through the training and let me know if anything resonates with you okay if so you can actually book a call with us at the end of the training so yeah that is it for me and importantly when someone wants to heal uh, emotionally within there needs to be people that you trust who will be able to hold the space for you while you heal recover you learn new, a new set of beliefs you continue to learn what you need to learn learn your lessons and rebuild yourself in a way stronger bouncing back stronger more confidently and having a more positive outlook in life in your ideal self right in essentially the best version of yourself so okay that's it from me have a great day